when you build your own boat and you build your own oars, it's a beautiful thing to go rowing. I'd like to show you how I build my oars. Hello, this is Edgar from Woodworking by Edgar. And today I was going to show you how I build some of these oars. Today is such a beautiful day out there. And even though we have snow out here, it is about 50 degrees and in the sun, it's quite comfortable just to be in the shirt sleeves. And so it looks like a beautiful day to work outdoors. My boats are out here just waiting for me to use some new oars on and uh, actually that center boat there is the boat that these oars will be going for uh, i have these blanks i started them out uh, last fall so this is where i'm starting off with my oars today i have also run some of this through the table saw to get some of the edges off cut them up into an octagon shape and uh, as you can see they are fairly clear stock and they came out of some two by tens like what's here and at my local lumber yard I can buy two by tens that are fairly clear if I pick them out so that's what I use for my stock these are starting out as being two inches round so I glued up some pieces onto the edges of them I used some total boat epoxy on those so my next step would be to shape out some of these pieces and round everything off with my electric planer I will take and put a bevel on these pieces so that it'll bevel down this way. The center will be a little bit high. You can see how that the edges are beveled here and I'm following these lines which I have made previously. So to make them the similar size and shape I just compare the two and make some adjustments to them. A lot of this work is done by eye. Things are starting to look pretty close now between the two of them. This one here looks like it needs to be shaped down just a little bit close more on this side. And this one here maybe a little bit more taken off of this side right here. So now I have the oar lock so that it can slide pretty well down through here. But it's still fairly tight. So now I will do some hand work on it and then do some sanding. So now I will start shaping it with a hand plane to get some of the finer shaping into it. About the final 10 inches I will taper down to 
to make it so that it will fit my hand a little bit better. Right now it's a little bit thick up here. that I have things pretty well roughed out, I will start sanding down with some 60 grit paper. So now they are sanded down to with the 60 grit. They're pretty similar in shape and they look pretty decent. I will sand them down to 100 and then finish it up with 150. Now they have all been sanded and they are ready to receive a coat of exterior polyurethane. So now I'll sand these down and give them another coat. So I'm giving these another coat and I like to use the exterior water-based polyurethane. Just sanded my oars back down again. I'm going to give them a final coat. If you enjoyed watching my video and have learned something from it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the notification bell.